Hi guys, so today I came up with a very, very, very different kind of a makeup look which I have never tried in my life, not also in my YouTube channel and my real life also. I've never tried. So, as this is summer, so I tried something different which just goes with this season. So, today I tried a pink sunset makeup look. I hope you all will like it. So, please keep on watching and subscribe to my channel, give me some love and press that like button if you like it and please keep on watching so first I'm going to moisturize my face this moisturizer the ordinary hyaluronic acid is such a good moisturizer and it has that slippery nails which you know will help your foundation to glide on very easy so I have used this foundation this moisturizer then I'm going to use another moisturizer over it uh, from Clinique. So I'm going to use different moisturizing gel. I'm going to spread that moisturizer into my whole face properly. So for my foundation, I'm going to use the Pat HD Liquid Foundation in the shade 3.0. I'm going to blend that properly on my face. So for highlighting, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the shade 6DW. It's a very nice concealer. It has a very nice creamy texture and it blends so seamless and very easily blend. Like in one go. You'll see. See how it's blending. I hope you can feel that that it's blending so nicely. Then I'm going to set my face with this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Then I'm going to start my eyes. So for eyes, I'm going to use the Morphe Eyeshadow Palette in the 35B in the palette. I'm going to use the three shades, two orange shade and one green shade. So first, I'm going to use a lighter orange shade in my crease and transition. And I'm going to blend that color very light and deeply. And I'm going to pull that color like in my outer corners so that it gives a blown out effect 
Then I'm going to use the darker orange, like burnt orange shade in the outer corners and also a little bit in the foundation. And just blend that properly so that it doesn't leave any kind of harsh Then I'm going to use that heat shade in my outer corners. And I'm going to blend that orange and heat shade very nicely. Then I'm going to take this yellow shade from the green palette and I'm going to pack that in my inner lid to make it. Not in my inner corners, in my inner lid to the head. And I'm going to pack that. Then I'm going to highlight my face first. I'm going to use a champagne color. Over that, I'm going to use a shimmery yellow shade. This shade I'm going to use in my over that champagne color. Then I'm going to start my liner. I'm using the L'Oreal Triple Liner Lacquer. It's a waterproof one. I'm going to draw it. First I'm going to draw my wing. Then I'm going to draw my ear pops. There's nothing fancy in my wing. It's a very easy idea. And my eye part I have not fast forwarded so that you can see easily how I have done. Then I'm gonna uh, use the new pencil from Wetting Wild Calling Your Buff, the shade Calling Your Buff, in my lower waterline. Then I'm gonna finish my mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Push Up Drama Mascara. Then in my lower lash line, I'm going to use that peach shade from the Mark 35B eyeshadow. Then I'm going to draw a glitter liner from my inner lid to my lower lid so that it complements this makeup eyeshadow makeup. And I really love to play with glitters, really. Then I'm going to finish my eyebrows. That is the easiest thing in my makeup. Easiest. And I always use a brown eyeshadow in my 
mm. I wrote and over that I mis I set it with the mascara, in time mascara with you. Then I'm highlighting my brow bone. After that, I am gonna bronze my face. And some people are getting offended because I tell I'm using a bronzer as my contour. The shade really uh, complements my skin tone. For that reason, I use this bronzer as a contour also and as a bronzer also. And there is no, no, no particular rules in makeup. You can play with anything. So I'm really sorry if someone get offended, but really there is no such rules in there. You can play with anything you want. It should complement you. That's it. After that, I have used the uh, local blush on my face, and then I'm using this highlighter to highlight my face. This is from the Master Pro Highlighter in the shade Rose. After that, I'm using the L'Oreal Plum Bum liquid lipstick in Polybill. First, I'm going to blend that lipstick with a, with my fingers so that it gives that softness to my lips. After that, in my inner lips, I'm going to use that and pat that only in my inner lips so that it gives that ombre effect like Koreans do. I really, really love that. such a cute trend. I really love it. Most of the time I use this technique in my lips, in my way. So this is my finished look. I hope you all have liked it and please subscribe to my channel friends that like button and be happy and hydrate yourself because summer is getting hotter, hotter and hotter. So be safe, be healthy and be happy. It's most important. So thank you, bye, take care.